Yes, yes, keep moving. Does anyone see Captain Hoff or the crew? I do hope we haven't lost them. Oh dear, the ship's reserve tank didn't eject on re-entry. They'll blow at any mo- Goodness, that was close. Oh dear, I don't think I'm overstating things when I say. We are in quite a predicament. I believe we should head westward. My internal nav sensors indicate that- no one made me the lead of VL-44. I was merely giving an opinion. And with Captain Hoff either missing or tragically deceased, it's up to us droids. Well, now you're just being rude. I have had more field experience than your rudimentary circuits could even imagine. No, I'm not suggesting I know more than you. No, I do not always go on about how I'm droid communication chief for the Resistance. Well, perhaps, from time to time. But I know, based on all your past exploits, any of you are equally able to lead us where we need to be. I mean, look at our group. Yes, PZ-99, I know you're a military grade class 4 security droid. You were quite vocal on the matter earlier. And yes, I think by now we all know about your exploits during the Battle of Jakku. Construction droid. Construction. Class. Five, C-O-34. You're a limited conversationalist. But I'm sure, after your long record of service, there's little you don't know about building under duress. Class 5, C-O-34. Construction. And then there's you, Two Med 2. A Class 1 medical droid. I've been around droids like you before. Humans too, for that matter. I'll talk until the fighting and the dying starts. Then they're nowhere to be found. I assure you, I have seen my share of both fighting and dying. Of course, it's not a droid's lot to grieve, but I confess I... Very well, VL-44. Wait and see. I may not be a security droid like you, but in a situation such as this, I assure you, my input and experience will be invaluable. What about me, 3PO? Where do I fit in? Indeed, Omri. Your presence is a problem. As our prisoner, it is ill-advised to include you. But when the transporter's guidance parallels misfired, it delivered us into a highly unfortunate strait. The simple fact is we only have a short amount of time before Admiral Akbar is interrogated and summarily executed by the First Order. It is vital that we get you to the Resistance base with the location where Weeks is being held before then. I have never heard of this Admiral Akbar. Yes. Well, the truth of that will be determined when we get you to our destination. The fact remains, we must work as a team if we are to leave this dreadful place. And as such, I feel we should put our differences aside. I agree. For now. My sensors tell me there is a homing beacon 87 kilometers from here. I presume it's from a First Order vessel. My inline records show it crashed here several cycles ago. It will be something of a trek to reach it, I'm afraid, but we have no choice. Yes, Omri? I find it interesting how our programming, human programming, makes us so much like humans themselves. Here we are, none of us actually living beings, and yet thanks to our programming, we are all ready to fight for this side or that. You assume I have data since I serve the First Order. Your masters in the Resistance want to discover what I know. That's why you would not blast me to pieces if I tried to flee. We would find some way to incapacitate you, at least. And yet, for all you know, any one of you could have been serving the other side at some point. As droids, our memories are often wiped. You, Two Med Two could have been saving lives of your so-called enemies in the past. Saving lives, Omri, is my primary function. One side or another has no meaning to me. In fact, I was only on this transport as ballast. I don't know if I should be relieved or troubled you feel the same way about life, PZ-99. One side or the other doesn't matter. That seems a bit cold-blooded. Yes, I was speaking figuratively. I must say, even for a security droid, you're most ill-mannered. I think we're gonna need PZ-99's talents, ill-mannered or not.
Oh dear, the ground. It's moving. What do you mean, according to your senses, it's not the ground that's moving? Oh my goodness! Space droids. Yes, PZ. I was thinking that I should stay behind you as well. And VL. One of them has me. I cannot... T-O-34. Construction. Quickly, everyone! Follow VL-44! He's clearing a way for us! Those rocks ahead! Yes, they are close. We must climb quickly, while PZ provides cover for us. He stayed back to draw them away from us. Why? Security droids like PZ-99 are programmed to fight. But their secondary directive is to protect any non-combative allies around them. He sacrificed himself for us. He was programmed to. We should continue on if we intend to get where we are headed. And you have nothing else to say about what PZ just did? You are all my enemies. Our programming has put us on opposing sides. His mistakes was my gain. It clearly bothers you, Omri, that our memories are in the hands of our makers. You've raised the subject more than once. It's the curse of the protocol droids like you and I, C-3PO, that our tasks require an extra degree of sentience. I think that added awareness causes us to question. Flashes of past events. Were they grand events or nothing to speak of? How important have I been? These questions nag at me. You, on the other hand, C-3PO, blindly and eagerly obey your orders. I assume you recall nothing. That's not entirely true. I see... flashes. For just a moment. Places. Rocks. A factory of droids. An arena in the middle of a battle. My body, not my own. A green world with hills. Underwater cities. A single city spread far as my optical senses could see. A temple on fire. Smoky mountains of magma and fire. Suffering. Yes, I have memories too. And yes, sometimes I allow myself to wonder about them. But I also accept it is a droid's lot in life to be in service of its master. Enough. We have to keep moving. Those clouds ahead. We don't want to be under them if it starts to rain. You're right. Of course, Two Med 2. We keep advancing. Yes, except advancing is easier said than done at the moment. It's some kind of oil or tar covering a chasm my sensors determine go down several kilometers. And if we fall in, with our weights, we'll never resurface. Oh dear. This certainly seems to be a problem with no solution. And we... C-O-34 Construction droid Construction Careful! Quickly, 3PO, go on! I'm filming as fast as I can! My server motors aren't designed for this! Wait, everyone! A moment ago there were birds and fauna Noise all around us Suddenly it's all gone quiet <laughs> Yes, VL, we're moving as fast as we can! Oh my! 3PO! Construction droid! Construction! Oh dear! It's pulling the- I've got you! My arm! At least the rest of you is still here. Come on! We're safe. You're right, not all of us are. What about? CO-34 Construction droid, construction I think he suffered too much damage to put himself back together. CO-34 I acknowledge that hate is not in my programming, but I hate this world. I agree! 
What kind of dreadful planet is this where the six of us to begin with are now down to three? Oh no! Quickly, keep moving or we'll be next. I can't believe we survived while the others are all gone. It occurred to me that we are far older models than they were too. For all we know, this could have been the first time around for each of them, but not us. Heavens, Omri, you're making me feel terribly outdated. Well, you are. We are. If you go on any more, I'll be checking my face for rust marks every morning at this rate. Was that your attempt at humor? I can't tell. I actually think you might check for rust. Of course it was. Why, I'd never... Wait, was that your attempt at humor? I like you, 3PO. I honestly wish we were on the same side. But like you said before, Omri, perhaps we were. The beacon is close. Yes, your arm. Not to worry. This isn't the first time I've lost that old thing. It is said that a being who loses a limb sometimes feels as if that limb were still attached to the body and can be moved. A phenomenon known as phantom limb. Having had my memories erased is like having a phantom limb inside my memory banks. You're very quiet, 3PO. For once. It's starting to rain. Not rain. Acid. We are as good as destroyed if we don't get to shelter. made it! But not for long. The rain will melt this wing and then us too. And the ship. I can see its beacon from here on the control panel. It is exposed to this downpour too. It will be destroyed very soon. And with it, our hope of rescue. What should we do, Omri? What can we do? Omri? Here. You have a mission. There is nothing in my directive telling me to prevent you from completing it. I just transferred to your location, where the First Order is holding Admiral Akbar. Of course, I have always known. I don't understand. You are changing sides? I'm not choosing sides. I'm choosing friendship. Red Primer. I never knew. When was it applied? How long ago? Omri, no! There is no time to wait or to waste, 3PO. You said so yourself. I will change the frequency to summon your master. That way, at least, you will survive. Uh... 3PO, I was beginning to think we'd never find you, buddy. I have it. I retrieved the information, Master Poe, but at a terrible cost. Captain Hoff and the crew are all dead, and the droids I was with were lost along the way. We'll see their sacrifice wasn't in vain, 3PO. You got Admiral Akbar's location, so at least there's that. It, uh, it looks like you need a new arm. Don't worry, Master Poe. I already have one. <laughs> Yes, BB-8, I'm fine. I know I'm quiet. You're not the first to say that to me lately. You have no idea how this arm offends my aesthetic sensibilities. Nevertheless, I will keep it for a while. To remember. <laughs>